Let's head over to Frank Fern and get some comment and analysis of those latest figures from Germany and what we can expect later in the week. Karsten Junius, head of capital markets in Deckerbank Deutsche, Giro Central, joins us. Karsten, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, good morning. Hello. Are exports going to continue to be a, a driving factor for the German economy for the rest of 2010? Wonderful numbers uh, that we've um, seen uh, today. So incredible strong export uh, uh, growth. Uh, but not only that, uh, we should also mention that import growth uh, has been far higher than uh, expected. Uh, most people were forecasting declining imports uh, after the strong May numbers. Uh, so we now have strong imports, uh, strong exports, uh, and a revival of uh, global trade. Wonderful. Some are pointing to exports within the Euro region, saying that austerity mm. measures might hinder exports going forward. Mm. What's your view mm. on that? That is something uh, I'm surprised about uh, most. That is a strong export growth uh, to uh, other countries uh, in the Eurozone, to other countries uh, in Europe. Because all these other countries uh, are consolidating right now, are saving right now the private households, uh, but also the, uh, the government. So that is a good news uh, that Germany is able to export not only to Asian regions, but also within the Eurozone. I mean, the data is it's very strong all round, isn't it, uh, Karsten? And uh, yeah, German, the, the German growth number on Friday should confirm that with a number in the region of 1.3 percent expected. I mean, is this sort of growth sustainable? Well, that growth won't be uh, sustainable, that for, for sure. We even look uh, for GDP numbers on Friday of almost 2 percent. Uh, that is, uh, would be a new, new record uh, for uh, Germany's uh, past war history, I, I assume. And that, of course, has uh, some special factors as construction activity has been very slow due to the hard winter in the first uh, quarter. Our export can't keep on um, yeah, growing as much as we've seen this quarter as the world economy is slowing down probably in the second half of, uh, of the year. So there are some special factors uh, for the second quarter. Still, the underlying growth, uh, we believe, uh, will be far stronger in Germany than in all the other countries uh, in, in the Eurozone. And that not only for the second half of 2010, but also for 2011 and 12. Does this mean, Karsten, very quickly that the ECB has to start reining in, has to start telling us that exit strategies are about to be reined in or about we, do we need to be told about exit strategies? No, not at all, because that is mainly a germ, maybe also an Austrian or Netherlands uh, uh, thing where the competitiveness of companies is extremely high, where consolidating needs uh, are not that, uh, that strong. Overall in the Germany, we neither, uh, or in, in the Eurozone, we don't have that uh, perspective that uh, Germany has, and okay. therefore we also don't see the inflation numbers. Carsten, thanks a lot, Carsten there from Decker Bank.